Welcome back everybody, my name is Brendan Dickinson and today we're going to be talking about something very close to my heart, version control. Specifically we're going to be talking about what version control is and why you should always be using it as a person that's developing an, an engine or any kind of software development, you should absolutely be using version control. So let's start with an example of something that I've heard from lots of people, the same kind of experience lots of these people that don't even know that version control exists or what it is. Basically, somebody gets interested in game development or these engines, and they go and they start using it, they have this project, they're building it up, they're learning a bunch, and maybe they're thinking, you know, it's been a month, maybe I should make a backup. So they go and they copy the project over somewhere else on their hard drive, and they're like, okay, I've got a backup just in case something fails or something uh, gets corrupted, it's fine, right? And they keep going and they keep building sometimes these people build for a year you know and they don't uh they don't really know how to back things up other than just copying and moving them over and one day they try to start up their project turns out their hard drive is fried it's all gone all the backups all their projects their years worth of work probably not everything but for the most part they're back to square one that's a really crappy thing to have happen, right? And it would have been better if they backed up their project on a different hard drive or if they even better backed it up on the cloud somewhere so that they could access it from anywhere and they don't have to worry about it being lost. But there's a much easier and better way to do this and that is version control. So what is version control? A version control system or VCS is a software that tracks and manages changes to a file system. A VCS will track the addition, deletion, and modification of files and directories that you choose. Basically, you can think of this like a backup for your project without having to create a bunch of copies at different points in time. Also, these backups are typically stored on cloud servers inside of something called a repository. A repository is just the history and a collection of all the changes that you've made in one place. This way, you have your backup and you don't have to worry about your hard drive failing and losing everything. Also, most websites will allow you to host repositories for free. Some even give you private repositories for free, so there's not really a good reason not to use one. Not only is a VCS a great tool for backups, but it's also invaluable as a collaboration tool. Any software project that has more than one developer maintaining source code files will greatly benefit from utilizing a VCS. Not that you shouldn't use one if you're a solo developer, I would still say it's completely necessary. There are several collaboration benefits to using a VCS. These include conflict resolution. For example, if you and another person are working on the same project and even the same code file at the same time, a VCS will be able to understand that two different people made changes to the same file and it's gonna help merge the files so that both people's changes can be in the final file and you don't have to worry about manually copying over changes or one person's changes being lost. A VCS keeps a history of every change to the project, which allows you to roll back and undo changes to source code. So say you make some code changes and it looks good, but maybe the next day you realize everything is broken. With the VCS, you can easily roll back to before those changes and you'll know the exact things that are causing the problem which helps with debugging and making sure that the software is always in a stable state. Working with a hosted VCS like Bitbucket or GitHub gives you even more benefits. You can add third-party integrations. For example, with Bitbucket in the past, I've used integrations for Jira task tracking, which can automatically update tasks to some other state like in review or completed with a change that I just made and added or pushed to the repository. And there are dozens of different integrations like this that are gonna help with workflow and collaboration. There are many other tools that help facilitate team communication as well as insight and accountability since people can see all the changes being made and who made them. This is great if you have a junior developer and you want to review their code before merging it in, or if you want to track something like how many bugs were created and fixed in the last week. Another really cool feature of using a VCS is continuous integration. Continuous integration can be set up so that when a change is added, you can automate a build to start or for tests to start running, this can end up saving you lots of time and effort in the long run. Using a VCS opens up a whole new world to you, and while I could spend hours talking about this topic, I wanted to give you a quick rundown of what it is and why you should be using it. When I create a new project, this is literally the first thing I do. Create a repository for the project and start using version control. There are many different version control systems, and they all have different strengths. Personally, I use Git, 
and I also enjoy using GitHub and Bitbucket for hosting my repositories and the different integrations that they allow. But like I said, there are lots of different options, so I would try some out and see what you enjoy. Hopefully I helped you understand what version control is and how it can help you. If nothing else, just use it as a backup in case something goes terribly wrong. If you have a story about version control or why you started using it, go ahead and leave it in a comment down below. I would love to hear it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. As always, have fun creating, and I'll see you next time.